There is no doubt that Sandra Boss is a very intelligent woman, but even she says that she was wooed and then fooled by Rockefeller and his tall tales of wealth and privilege. His attorneys say he is mentally ill and still believes he is the upper crust of society. Terror, horror, consternation. I mean, I was freaked. <laughs> Sandra Boss recalled the terrifying six days last July when her seven-year-old daughter Ray was on the run with Clark Rockefeller. I was completely traumatized. I was hysterical. I was just, you know, devastated. There's really no way to describe it. It was horrible. Mother and daughter were finally reunited, but the elaborate web of lies Rockefeller had weaved began to unfold. Boss had been played, and on the stand she said it all started 15 years before at a Clue board game party. Well, I was supposed to be Miss Scarlet, and so I wore a red scarf. How was he in character? Um, he was Professor Plum, and he wore um, some maroon-colored corduroy trousers. And Professor Plum, she found out, was not his only fictitious character. Prosecutors learned his real name is Christian Karl Gerhardt Strider from Germany, though even today he insists he is a Rockefeller, a descendant of the oil tycoon. He knew a lot of very interesting facts. Um, he seemed to have a very good memory of numbers. He was very intelligent. He was one of the most intelligent people that I, I'd ever known. Shortly after their 1995 wedding, Boss described a man obsessed with money who grew more and more controlling. He became um, much more um, directive about my movements. What do you mean by that, directive in your movements? Specifically, what does that mean? Well, he wanted to walk me to and from work every day. He um, be began to be less supportive of my seeing my friends. Money was a source of tension. Boss said her husband frequently complained she wasn't earning enough. I observed that he could get a job that paid and contribute. Had the defendant, to your knowledge, contributed any significant amount to your family finances? No. Up to that point? No. A psychologist for the defense says Rockefeller suffers from delusions of grandeur and narcissism. Daryl Hopkins, the unsuspecting limo driver who drove the getaway car, offered his own opinion in court, comparing Rockefeller to one of television's most eccentric millionaires. In the genere of uh, Thurston Howell III. From Gilligan's Island? From Gilligan's Island. Come along, my dear. Let's show them what the wealthier natives are wearing. Hopkins even mocked Rockefeller's accent when telling the jury what he ordered for lunch. Steak tartare. <laughs> he testified that he was paid $3,000 in cash to pick up Rockefeller and his daughter and leave behind the social worker supervising their visit. The door opened, there's a clunk, then there's a crying girl in my back seat, and go, go, go. She had really whacked her head, Daddy. You know, she was just... <laughs> <laughs> Dead. But after dropping them off, he heard the Amber Alert that would change his life. All I had to hear was Clark Rockefeller, and my world collapsed. Because he had kidnapped his daughter, and I was the getaway car. And Sandra Boss is expected to be cross-examined today, also expected to take the stand. Rockefeller's first wife, a Wisconsin woman he married back in 1981, allegedly to get a green card. Divorce records show he left her the day after the wedding.